hello everyone uh, this is unit 2 introduction to projections uh, in this session 4 uh, we will talk about projection of lines so outcomes projection of lines for the following cases line parallel to one of both the planes line perpendicular to one of the plane and parallel to the other line inclined to one plane and parallel to another this we will study you can see the curriculum so contents will be like this introduction to lines projection of lines its notations and guidelines <coughs> projection of line parallel to both the planes projection of line parallel to one plane and perpendicular to another plane projection of line parallel to one plane and inclined to another plane and solved examples on this projection of lines in exercise the model questions for practice is also given You can see here the object means here the straight line is kept here so these are this is the actual given line the observer will be placed here observer is looking from this end of this line capital A B in parallel I mean projectors are drawn from both the ends perpendicular to the viewing plane that is VP uh, as you can see you can see the true length here that is the front view so a dash b dash it is represented by small a dash b dash we will see in the next slide a straight line a straight line means it is the shortest distance between any two points you can see here capital A and capital B 100 mm shown here so if if we connect the shortest distance between the two points then it will become a straight line the projection of a line is drawn by by joining the projections of its endpoints as i said earlier the projection of a line is drawn by joining the projections of its endpoints you can think of uh, similar to projection of two points so you can see this is one point and this is another point so if you project these two ends then you will get the uh, orthographic views projection of lines its notations and guidelines to draw projections of any object one must have the following information first object with its description well defined where it is to be placed usually in this chapter object is kept in first angle projection only an observer always observing a perpendicular to the perpendicular to respective reference plane the location of object means its position with reference to HP and VP. Terms above means this will be with respect to HP and terms in front this will be with respect to VP in first angle projection or first quadrant. Objects placed in first quadrant only. You can place in all the four quadrants as in points but from lines onwards objects are placed only in first quadrant it is interesting to learn the effect on the positions of views front view or top view of the object with respect to x y line when placed in first quadrant notations and guidelines following notations should be followed while naming different views in orthographic projections so this is the object on a 
line a b stop you object top you you have shown one and a point a uh, in top view it is to be represented by lower case a and line means a b small a small b or lower case a b front view is represented with a dash a dash point a similarly line will become two ends a dash and b dash lower case letters and similarly side view for the point a is represented by a double dash and line a b is a double dash b double dash all are lower case letters should be shown in orthographic views but the actual line will be represented by line in space is represented by capital a b but while in top view it will be small a b in front view a dash b dash and in side view a double dash b double dash so same system of notations should be followed now let us see projection of line parallel to both the planes line parallel to both the plane means how the object is to be placed so this is the object capital a b you can see here this line is parallel to b p as well as parallel to h p so this is the pictorial representation of a line when it is parallel to h p and parallel to v p means you have to keep this straight line like this it should be parallel to vp as well as parallel to hp and its orthographic representation and drawing is shown here so in such a case front view and top view both are parallel to xy and both show true length of a line so that either you can start with front view or the top view because both will be in true length okay so this is the uh, this is a bow hp you can see the one end a dash and this is in front of vp small a and like that you have to fix b and b dash Remember that when the line is parallel to both HP and VP, both the front and top views will be true length. And the orthographic views will come like this. Now let us see the projection of line parallel to one and perpendicular to another. You can see in this pictorial representation, see here. This is the object or the line AB. You can see here this is parallel to VP. Where there is parallelness, you will get the true length of that particular object or line. So in this case, you can see here, here you can see the true length of the line. And similarly, to obtain the top view for this line, you have to look from this side. So here you can see only one end a the other end b is invisible because it is exactly behind a so that's why in top view the same line will look like a point in this way a and b is invisible but it is there but behind you have to show in bracket line you have to show in brackets So representation will be like this. You can see here. Can you see here? Now this is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. So let us see the orthographic pattern or the views. Front view is a vertical line showing true length. So this is the condition you should know from where you have to start. And top view is a point. 
so here in this case so this is x y line uh, intersection of vertical plane and horizontal plane so first you locate b dash at what height or uh, above hp how much distance it is there so you can note down b dash and then you draw true length you will get a dash so now a dash b dash is your front view and in front of vp the line is how much in front of vp that distance you have to mark and show a point here so while seeing the top view you have to look from this end so a dash is visible so in top view small a is visible b dash is invisible or behind a so show it in brackets so this pictorial representation as you know uh, to convert this into 2d we have to rotate this horizontal plane clockwise through 90 degrees if you rotate this horizontal plane keeping vertical plane constant you rotate this through 90 degrees and then it will become 2d like this so same 3d pattern is converted to 2d or orthographic view just by rotating the horizontal plane in this case of a staggered projection clockwise through 90 degrees now let us see another case projection of line parallel to one plane projection of line parallel to one plane and inclined to another an example this line is here a line is inclined to hp and parallel to vp you can see here this is uh, parallel to hp so if this line is rotated through nine uh, through an angle theta that is inclined to hp it will become see here capital a b is the object which is inclined at an angle theta from the horizontal plane where it is inclined to hp if you project the top view it will be foreshortened by certain distance so this view will not be in true length so in this case you cannot start the drawing from the top view you have to look where the uh, where this line is parallel or to which plane it is parallel there you will get the true length of the line so from that uh, from from that plane you have to start the drawing see here inclined to hp but it is parallel to vp can you see this line is inclined to hp but parallel to vp so here you can get the true length of the line in the front view okay rotate through this rotate hp through 90 degrees clockwise you can get the uh, you will get the orthographic pattern of views like this so here as you know inclined to hp parallel to vp uh, x y line so this locate a and a dash above in front then from here you draw a horizontal line how much it is inclined to hp represented by theta you mark this angle then at this angle you draw the true length of the line which is given so this end will be small a dash and this is p dash now this itself is the front view now to obtain the top view from a dash so in front of vp will be given this line is so much or so many millimeters in front of vp so that you take a dash and this if you draw vertical projector you will get the top view of that point a or that end of the line a similarly from b dash you draw vertical projector to meet this at b so other end view other end point is also you have drawn now you just connect a and b now that will be the top view of the line in this case one more case here projection of line parallel to one plane and inclined to another 
here we have taken line is inclined to VP notation 5 inclined to VP is represented by uh, a mathematical notation called as phi 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 and this is parallel to HP as you know this is VP now this can you see this line is parallel to VP to show inclined to VP you have to tell this line now this is the object or the AB which is kept at an angle phi from the vertical plane means now this line is inclined to VP okay now if you look from the above if you look from above see here this is parallel to HP and parallel to VP now this is inclined to HP in the previous case but parallel to VP inclined to HP means it will be parallel to VP similarly inclined to VP so this is now parallel to VP inclined to VP means it will tilt like this or like this let us say like this now this is inclined to VP but parallel to HP it will become so you will get the two length line in HP or the top view so inclined to VP if you project the top view this will be in true length similarly in front view if you look from this end it will be foreshortened so this will not be in true length but this front view will be uh, less than the true length line so it will be foreshortened by certain distance depending on the angle which it is tilted now rotate this HP through 90 degrees in clockwise direction and obtain the orthographic pattern first we have to look at a look the condition and from where you can draw the start the drawing and for which plane it is parallel where we get true length that you have to find as explained earlier true length you can see in HP so this is uh, inclined to VP so you draw a line locate point A in front of VP and then measure angle phi at which angle it is inclined to VP then from here in this angle you draw the true length line and locate the other end of the line small b in the top view so now you will get a b small a b so this is the top view of the line and to obtain the front view the above hp distance you will be knowing just project it further you will get a dash so this is the front view of uh, the end a similarly from here you draw vertical projector and locate this b dash other end front view So this is the orthographic projection. Okay, let us solve some examples on projection of lines. The question will be like this: Draw the three principal views of a line ATMM long when it is par when it is placed parallel to both HP and VP. One end of the line is seventy mm above HP. 40 mm in front of VP and 30 mm in front of the right VP has given. First, you look at the condition while solving. This is placed parallel to both HP and VP, so that is the main condition. For this condition, you have to think. Let us assume this as a line. Now, this is can you see here? placed parallel to VP as well as parallel to HP means we will get the true length line in both the planes so you can start from anywhere either from front view or top view in this case next condition one end of the line is 70 mm above HP has given so this first you draw X Y line one end of the line from this intersection one end of the line is 70 mm above HP you draw vertical line or vertical projector measure 70 mm and locate this A dash one end of the line 
and 40 mm in front of VP is given. So from here you measure 40 millimeters. So vertical line or vertical projector locate A. Now one end is located. This is front view and this is top view of the line. Now to locate other end true length 80 mm is given. So from here you measure true length line 80 mm. So horizontally because condition is parallel to VP. So you draw a horizontal line uh, and locate at the point B dash. Now from B dash you just draw vertical projector to meet this at B and you draw horizontal projector or just connect E and B. So now this will be your top view. So true length top view you have obtained. Similarly front view will also be in true length. When the line is placed parallel to both HP and VP. Now he has given 30 mm, one end of the line is 30 mm in front of the right PP. So you have to locate right PP already front and uh, top view is drawn. Now you measure from this point, you measure 30 mm distance. And now you have to draw this vertical line called as X1, Y1 line. Now you can see here this is the one end, so this is right PP, so this is 30 mm in front of the right PP. So now B dash or B is 30 millimeter in front of the right PP, so that is also satisfied. Now to obtain the side view, so PP is here below this, you have to draw a 45 degree line. Now to obtain the side view, you have to draw the horizontal projector from A, already line is there, no problem. From A, you can start here, you draw a horizontal projector to meet this 45 degree line and then you draw vertical projector and leave it. And similarly from A dash front view, you draw horizontal projector. To meet this vertical projector drawn from the A. Okay. Now where these two intersect, so this is your side view A double dash for the NDA. Similarly, to, to locate the side view of this point B, you draw horizontal projector already drawn, draw vertical projector, it's already there, no need to draw again. From B dash, already is there, okay, you just see here. At the same location it will come. Now this is your B double dash. Now to draw the left view you have to look from the left hand side of the front view and side view will be shown in the right side in first angle projection. As you can see here you can see only this point at this end A. And this is behind A, so this is not visible. So A double dash is visible, but B double dash we are shown in brackets. Although it is there, but it is invisible. Remember only front view, top view and side view should be made dark. And all other projectors, X, Y line, X1, Y1 line, horizontal vertical projectors and this line should be shown as thin line, continuous thin line and dimension it in align system later and you name these views front view and this is the top view both are in true length and this is left view. So another example draw the projections of a line 80 mm long placed parallel to VP perpendicular to HP so this is your condition. The line is 70 mm in front of VP and 60 mm in front of right PP. The lower end of the line is 30 mm above HP. Now first you see the condition parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP means so like this. So this is parallel to VP and you can see here this is perpendicular to HP horizontal plane. So true length you can see in the front view. Okay, 
the line is uh, 70 mm in front of EP. you take any one line and the lower end of the line is 30 mm above HP. you take this any one point from here you measure 30 mm lower end of the line means small b in front view upper end is a b dash this is b dash and upper end is a dash so locate this b dash 30 mm above hp and from here you measure 80 mm true length as this is perpendicular to hp it will look like vertical line and locate this a dash now you connect this a dash and b dash this itself true length line is the front view okay and he is saying 60 mm in front of uh, uh, sorry the line is 70 mm in front of vp now you draw vertical projector from this end you measure 70 millimeter from here can you see here 70 millimeter in front of vp locate a point mark it now to draw the top view you have to look from this end a dash is visible but b is behind it invisible so this line in the top view it will look like a point so show this a b is invisible show it in show it in brackets and this is 60 mm in front of right pp from here you measure 60 millimeter okay it it, it show or draw x1 y1 line now you can see here uh, the line is 60 mm in front of right pp locate right pp already drawn this you have already drawn front and top view now you are showing and this line is 60 mm if you look at this end from x1 y1 it is 60 mm apart or 60 mm in front of the right pp similarly so look at this uh, right profile plane 60 mm apart from this end now to draw the side view from here in this direction you draw a 45 degree line now from a you draw horizontal projector take it vertical extend it from a dash you draw horizontal projector where these two line intersect this is your a double dash similarly from b you draw horizontal projector until it meet 45 degree line then take vertical projector from b dash now you draw horizontal projector to meet this line drawn from b now where these two intersect that is your b double dash now you connect a double dash b double dash this itself is the left view so if you look at from this end you can see the whole straight line so similarly it will look in the left view but in the top view if you look at this end only a dash is visible so it will look like a point make this dark make front side and top view dark all other lines or projectors should be light another problem draw the projections of a line atm and long placed parallel to hp perpendicular to vp if the rear end of the line is uh, 30 mm in front of it the line is 55 mm above hp and 50 mm in front of the right pp first you look at the condition parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp perpendicular to vp means it will come like this so this is perpendicular to vp but parallel to hp so true length you can see in the top view we'll locate the ends first the line is 55 mm from here draw xy line from here the line is 55 mm 55 millimeter above hp locate this and 30 mm in front of it so rear end rear end of the line rear end means behind end or back end rear end of the line is 30 mm in front of it so from here you measure 30 you look at small b now true length 80 you draw it as a vertical line because it is perpendicular to 
Vp in parallel to Hp. So from B, locate B first. From B, you draw ATMM. You can locate other end A. Now this is the top view. From here, you just project it. 55 MB above HP, you have already shown. So now to locate, to name the points from A, A dash is visible. So B exactly behind A. So this is, although that end is there, but it is invisible while looking from this side. So show it in brackets. A dash, B dash. So in front view, in this condition, the line will look like a part. Now he is saying 50 mm in front of right PP. So from this end you measure 50 millimeters. Draw X1 by 1 line and locate this PP, right PP. You can write RPP or simply PP. Now this line is 50 mm in front. Now to obtain Now from here you draw 45 degree line to obtain the side view. Now draw horizontal projector from A to meet, to meet this uh, 45 degree line. Then take vertical projector. From A dash you draw horizontal projector where these two intersect that is A double dash. Similarly draw horizontal projector from B to meet 45 degree line then take vertical projector. Then from B dash you draw horizontal projector where these two intersects that will be B double dash. can see here from the top view also so b double dash a double dash you name it this is the side view okay now another condition okay another problem draw the projections of a line atm and long placed parallel to vp perpendicular to hp placed parallel to vp perpendicular to hp is the condition the line is 70 mm in front of vp Sorry. Right. Another problem. A line AB ATM long is inclined at 30 degrees to HP and parallel to VP. And this line is 90 mm in front of VP. The lower end A is 35 mm above HP, 110 mm in front of right PP. It is away from it than the higher end droids, three principal views. So this is the case condition you can see here inclined to HP and parallel to VP. So parallel to VP means true length line will come in the front like this. See here, this is inclined to HP, but it is parallel to VP. Okay, look at the end. The lower end A is 35 mm above HP. So from here, you draw A dash. This is XY line. From here, you measure 35 mm locate a dash next you draw a line at 30 degrees to hp and you draw an inclined line on this 30 degree line and take true length line atmm and locate this b dash now connect a dash b dash this itself is the front view now obtain top view in front of vp how much distance that you have to see so line is 90 mm in front of VP. From here you measure 90, locate on point. From A dash you draw vertical projector. So this is the end A in top view. Similarly from B dash you draw vertical projector. Locate this point B. Now you connect A and B. So this itself is the top view. Next to locate the right PP. 110 millimeter in front of right PP he is saying uh, this end A this end A is 110 millimeter in front of right PP he is saying so measure 110 millimeters from this A 
mark this point from here you draw a vertical line representing x1 y1 and show this pp so now this will be your right pp from here you draw a 45 degree line now to draw the side view draw a horizontal projector from a to meet this 45 degree line then you take vertical projector vertical projection or projector from a dash you draw a horizontal projector where these two intersect that is a double dash similarly from b you draw a horizontal projector take vertical projector then from b dash you draw a horizontal projector where these two line intersect that is say new b double dash so now you connect a double dash b double dash so this itself is a side view so if you look at this end you can see both a dash b dash means both ends are visible so it will look like a short line make three views dark all other lines are light continuous thin line dimension it let us see one more example line a b atmm long is inclined at 45 degree to vp and parallel to hp the end nearer to vp is 30 mm in front of vp 60 mm above hp and 100 mm in front of right pp draw its projections so condition you look for the condition 45 degree to vp means inclined to vp and parallel to hp this is parallel to vp inclined to vp means it will come like this so you can't see the true shape there but in top view you will get the true length so start from top view locate the line or ends end nearer to vp is 30 mm in front of vp is saying draw x y line from this point you mark a one point then incline to vp at 45 degrees this is fine measure 45 degree from this you draw a line and uh, mark ATMM from A true length you will get the other end of the line B small b so A and B uh, AB is the top view now above HP how much distance is given you have to see 60 mm above HP so measure from this point 60 millimeters locate a point now from A, you draw a vertical projector, so this is your A dash in the front view. Similarly, you draw a horizontal line, I mean horizontal projector. Now from B, you draw a vertical projector and where these two intersect, this is the intersects, that is the point B dash. Now connect A dash B dash, this itself is a front view. Now you have got two views. To look at the third view or the left view you have to mark right pp so this is 100 mm in front of the end nearer to vp is 100 mm in front of right pp means this one from end a so this is nearer to vp but b is farther away from pp compared to a so from here you measure 100 mm distance horizontal distance locate or draw x1 y1 and locate pp right pp so from here you draw a 45 degree line from a you draw horizontal projector to meet 45 degree line then take vertical b dash you draw horizontal projector now where this two intersect intersects that is a double dash similarly from b you draw horizontal projector meet this 45 degree line then take vertical from b dash you draw horizontal projector these two intersection points name it as b double dash now you can see here a double dash b double dash you connect it make it dark uh, this will be your left view
some exercise uh, problems for practice has been given in model questions you try this A reference bibliography okay, now I will show you uh, now I will show you uh, a demo of uh, the problem mm. and planes also it has been shown like this just see here now this is your vertical plane and this is horizontal plane in first angle projection now if you keep a line assume this as a line now this is made parallel to VP as well as this is parallel to HP so that is a condition now observer is from here so this is made parallel to VP now this is parallel to HP for condition like this the line will be kept like this so both views will be in true line okay so this is the initial position of the line when it is parallel to both HP and VP now you can see here this is PP so these three planes are mutually perpendicular to each other hmm? so 3d or uh, pictorial representation can you see here now this is uh, parallel to VP parallel to HP so it will look like a line now to draw the side view left side view you have to look from this side it will look like a point in the left view or similarly from the right view if you want to draw right view plane is to be shifted here this side so this is the right profile left profile plane now to draw the right view you have to look at this end so this line will look like a point on this plane now can you see this now this is parallel to VP line is parallel to VP but perpendicular to HP if you keep line like this now this will be parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP so true length will be you can see in VP you have to start from there but in top view it will look like a point so this end is visible other end is invisible now you can see here now this line is perpendicular to VP perpendicular to VP this is the case so in front view it will look like a point but in the top view true length line it will come so in such a case you have to start from top view okay front view will look like a point top view true length line uh, another case can you see here now this line is inclined to HP line is made inclined to HP at an angle theta but it is in such a case it will be parallel to VP so true length line is visible in VP from where you have to start you have to start from the front view but in top view this line will be foreshortened by certain distance so it will be less than true length line now you can see here one more case can you see here now this is this line is inclined to VP but parallel to HP in this case you have to start from HP But front view will be foreshortened. Top view you will get true length. Front view will be less than the true length line. So this is inclined to VP parallel to HP. Okay. Let us solve a problem in uh, paper using paper and pencil. So this is the first problem what we have uh, shown in the PPT. Draw the three principal views of a line ATM long when it is placed parallel to both HP and VP this is a condition one of the ends of the line is 70 mm above HP 60 mm in front of VP and 30 mm in front of right VP now shortly you can write given data three views means front view 
top view and side view you have to draw true length ATMM is given condition you have to write parallel to both HP and VP so this condition is important to locate the line first and one end is 70 mm above HP 60 mm in front of VP 30 mm in front of right PP okay as you know this case placed parallel to HP VP means like this it will come you can see the true length line uh, above and below you can start from front view or top view now I have drawn XY line okay so above HP how much distance he has given that you locate it so this is 70 mm above HP now this will be your point A dash one end of the line A dash remember don't uh, forget to write VP and HP so this side is VP and this is HP now similarly look at uh, how much distance in front of VP the line is located or the end is located that you draw it sixty mm in front of VP means it will come below the XY line. Now this is your A top view of the one end of the line. Now you have located A dash and A. Now you have to locate the other end B. So this is parallel to VP as given means it will be a horizontal line. So draw a horizontal line from A dash. So true length you locate it 80 millimeters. You measure 80 millimeter from A dash and now this will be your B dash. Name it. So draw a horizontal line that is true length line 80 millimeter this is parallel to HP B dash okay parallel to VP as well as parallel to HP it is there now you draw vertical projector from B dash you just draw horizontal projector from A you will get the other end B Now see here this is uh, parallel to VP you can see here parallel to HP you can see here so both will be in true length you mark B now from this end one end is how much in front of right PP that will be given you look at that distance and you draw X1 Y1 line means vertical line Okay, 30 mm in front of right PP is given. So now this will be your PP, right PP. So measure 30 mm from one end. Now this end B is 30 mm in front of right PP. So that condition is satisfied now. Okay. So B dash, one end B dash is 30 mm in front of right PP. Now to draw the side view, you keep your uh, protractor like this and from uh, here you measure 45 degree line and draw a line now this will be your 45 degree line now from A you draw horizontal projector to meet this 45 degree line from there you have to draw vertical projector extend it now from the front view a dash it's already there so you leave the space from here you can draw from a dash you draw horizontal projector to meet this vertical projector drawn from the top view now this will be your a double dash from a you have drawn vertical projector extend it further from a dash you draw horizontal projector where these two intersect so this is the required part 
a tuple dash means side view of the front end of the line a so represented by small a tuple dash similarly from p already line is there no need to draw again just see here from p you draw horizontal projector take vertical projector from here similarly from the front view p dash you have to draw the horizontal projector and where these two lines intersect that is your b double dash side view of the other end now to mark the visible lines visible ends you have to look from this end draw the left view a dash is visible but b dash is behind this so this is invisible so that's why we have to show it in brackets okay your name front view dimension it and make it dark front view top view and side view this point only these three views must be made uh, dark or continuous thick and all other lines vertical projectors x y x1 inclined line everything should be in represented by continuous thin line then you name this front view top view and this is left view okay thank you